dolls and gents, I'm super excited to be back with you guys today. I have a full makeup tutorial for you guys. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while, so this will be a voiceover and you'll see the products I'm using and I'll also explain why I'm doing what I'm doing within the tutorial. So I know you guys have been missing the makeup tutorials. Y'all love the get ready with me videos, but sometimes you don't really know how to follow. So this will be super simple for you guys to follow along. So this look is all about the skin, really nice, glowy, dewy, flawless skin. And I have really been enjoying Sasha Cosmetics. I used their foundation today, their second skin foundation. And this foundation really is amazing. It comes in a variety of shades and they have very deep, shades in this foundation as well. I've never used a foundation with this kind of texture. It is a cream-based silicone like moisturizing foundation. So when it goes on the skin, it does feel a little oily, but not in a bad way. It does definitely dry down to a more matte finish, but I definitely recommend setting it with a setting powder. And I use their Buttercup Loose Setting Powder underneath my eyes. Y'all know I love banana powder, but I think this might be my new favorite because I could actually feel it absorbing the oils in my concealer because I did use a Tarte concealer today and it had maracuja oil in it. So I could feel this absorbing it and I could also feel that my pores were more filled in. It looked more airbrushed. And the great thing that I love about this foundation is it's great in heat environments. So, so this is the perfect kind of beat face for summer, I would say. It's super simple to achieve, as you will see in the tutorial. And if any of you guys are interested in purchasing any of the Sasha Cosmetic products, I have a 25% off discount. The promo code is SashaSpring1, and I will have all that information in the description box down below for you guys. If you want to see how I achieved this look from start to finish, then definitely stay tuned, guys. Hey, love. So we're first going to start off with the skin, and I'm using the Sasha Cosmetic second skin foundation in the shade perfect spice they have a ton of different shades in this foundation and it just glides on so nice it's a silicone based foundation but it also has oil in it so it's very moisturizing on the skin and as you can see it doesn't look cakey but it definitely covers I would say this foundation has a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable to full coverage and you can definitely sheer it out for a light coverage as well if you were to use, say, a beauty blender with it. This is my first time using this foundation, so I was amazed that I didn't have to go in with any concealer around my hyperpigmentation areas. It pretty much covered everything, but it still felt really light on the skin. Next, it's time to fill in those sparse brows. I'm using the MAC Brow Pencils in Stud and Spiked. I like using stud on the outer three-fourths of the brow, and then I use spiked in the inner fourth of the brow. Now it's time to lock that brow pencil in place so it doesn't move. I'm using the Bomb Brow Pal Eyebrow Powder in Dark Brown. Absolutely love this for setting my eyebrow pencil. To clean up and highlight underneath my eyebrows, I'm using MAC 
Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. It's a concealer that's about three shades lighter than my skin tone, and it just works to subtly highlight underneath the brow. And now I'm just going to blend it down into the foundation. Okay, you can't do a summer beat face tutorial without bronzer. Y'all know I love bronzer anyways. So I'm using the Shea Moisture Illuminating Face Powder in Mandalay Dust all over the lid. But this won't be the last time we're using this. I like using products for multiple things, so I'm going in again with the Balm Brow Pal Eyebrow Powder in Dark Brown, and I'm applying this just into the outer corner of my crease. I don't really want to highlight today, so I'm just using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Deep Dark right underneath the brows. This look is all about lashes. Of course, you can just apply loads and loads of mascara, which I'm going to do anyways. But I'm applying the Red Cherry number 43 lashes. Absolutely love these. They're long, fluffy, and flirty. So y'all know I absolutely love the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW45, but today I'm going back to my Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Deep, and this does have Maracuja oil in it, and it's very moisturizing for underneath the eye area, and it doesn't crease, so it's pretty bomb. And I'm just blending in the concealer with my beauty blending sponge. I do not know what I would do without it. Like, I can't imagine doing my concealer without my beauty blender now. Crazy, right? Okay, now we are setting the under eye concealer and I'm using the Sasha Cosmetics Camouflage Setting Powder in Buttercup. And I love Banana Powder by Ben Nye, you guys know that. But this stuff right here is way better. I can actually feel it absorbing the oil. Like I felt it getting tight, but tight in a good way. Like it was setting my concealer for real. Like it was really getting the oils out of the concealer and out of my skin. So definitely give this a try, you guys. And of course we don't wanna leave the powder like that. So I'm just taking a small fluffy brush and I'm sweeping away the powder.
And now I'm gonna set my foundation in place with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Deep Dark. I told y'all I was not done with my Shea Moisture Bronzer. I'm going back in with it, and this time just in the hollows of my cheek. I'm not doing my forehead today, but I will go in with my nose, just a little bit slight contouring. All right, now it's time to highlight, and this is my favorite part of doing my makeup. I absolutely love highlighting the skin. It just makes it look so healthy and glowy. I'm using the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Fairly Precious. I absolutely love this highlighter. I'm not sure if it's still available, but if it is, get your hands on it, okay? So I'm opting for a shimmery blush as well today. I'm using the MAC powder blush and ambering rose all over the apples of my cheek. Now it's time to finish the eyes. I'm going in with some black eyeliner. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in Perversion. This stuff is super dark and it stays like, I feel like, I think it's waterproof, right? Okay, clearly I'm still not done with the Shea Moisture Bronzer. I'm smudging it a little bit below my lower lash line now. And now I'm applying loads of mascara. I've been obsessed with the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's really good and especially good for my bottom lashes, but you'll see in just a sec. I wanted to add a little bit of light in the inner corner of my eyes, so I'm using the highlighter that I used on my cheekbones, and that's the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Fairly Precious. Now it's time to complete this look with the lips. I'm using the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Tawny, and this is a nice rose color. And the last and final step of this look is applying a lip gloss on top, something that's a pinky plum color. I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Divine Shine Lip Gloss in Flush. These smell so good and it's pretty thick but not sticky so I find that it lasts on the lip for quite a while. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to thumbs it up and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!